What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. Ancestors of the highest white light, what is the message? somebody has made a judgment call about somebody who was just basically creating a lot of like I, I'd say like negative travel or negative astral I'm sorry uh, negative astral travel interference somebody was like somebody has cut somebody off and it's like they they feel very liberated especially with regards to, like, their mind. Like, I feel like somebody um, may have been involved with somebody who was, um, who had some karma, who had some demons, and this reminds me of the reading a little bit that I did before this one. Somebody's a sexual empath, and, and you may have slept with somebody who, or shared some sort of intimate connection or energy with somebody who um, had some, some unresolved demons, so to speak. Um, some shadow work that they may have uh, needed to do. This, whoever this person was, it you felt very. Um, when you were with this person, it was um, okay. So the message I'm receiving is that you were attracted to this person because they were a karmic. Um, so there was some sort of a karmic lesson or something or a soul contract that needed to be finished with this person and so this is why you were attracted okay now um oh, it makes me so angry that we don't understand a lot of these types of things so it's like so it's like i feel like whoever you are you're like why the why the hell was i attracted to this person you know what i mean like am i an idiot for being attracted to this person no you're not that was just the universe's way of saying hey you need to get over here because there's something that we need you to deal with over here before you move on to the next journey so to speak okay so don't be hard on yourself but just remember how you felt when you were with them and then now that you've blocked them okay is what the message that i'm receiving we've got aquarius energy here we've got capricorn energy here we've got gemini energy here we've got aries energy here We've got Taurus energy here. You may have even divorced this person. You may have even had a divorce. Yeah. You may have even been married because of an unexpected pregnancy, or you had to be in a relationship or in some sort of a dynamic with this person because of an unexpected pregnancy, okay? And what I'm also hearing is that once you separated yourself, it actually made you more efficient for your children. Okay, and they can be fur babies, but I do believe that this is like an actual baby baby. Okay, <laughs> uh, human baby. <laughs> what else? Spirit answers to the highest white light. Your finances also um, were, um, um, you were more financially secure also with this person out of your life as well. What else? Spirit answers to the highest white light. It's like I feel like when you were with this person, there were just like constant tower moments, so to speak. And it was just spirit trying to say like, hey, this was only supposed to be temporary. <laughs> this is the message that I'm receiving, okay? The five of swords here, yeah, and the wheel of fortune in reverse position. It was like, um, it may have seemed like there was like a lot of bad luck or something like that, but it was like spirit was saying like, nope, wrong timeline. <laughs> Gotta go to the next one. <laughs> But, um, yeah, what else? Spirit answers to the white light was the message. You guys remember that all of my readings are general readings. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. Okay, so just take what resonates. There's also sometimes several stories and timelines, or, uh, yeah, for different people, okay, so to speak. So, um, 
I feel like whoever you are, you're receiving a lot of divine guidance. Oh, somebody's receiving divine guidance towards their twin flame, trying to find their twin flame, okay? So you may have thought that this was your twin flame, but this was not. This was a false, which is fine. It's not a big deal, you know? Um, especially if you had little babies. Little babies! Little star babies to go out and bless the world. Um, then it was great, right? And all the lessons that we learn uh, in these situations, right? What else are answers to rise by light? What is this two of wands in the reverse position, please? Answers to rise by light. Oh, oh, they're not over you. Oh, they're not over you, so they're trying to keep you in a cycle. If this is somebody who you were divorced from or separated from, or if this is somebody who you had kids with, they're literally trying to keep you in this cycle that you're like, no, this is over. So the message is just kind of like, just lay low. I don't know what that means to any of you, but that is the message that I'm receiving. It's like, don't let them, um, I'm hearing apathy. Don't give them attention. Don't let them think that they can even for a minute. Like, d just don't let them even think that you, your attention, it, that they, oh, I don't, this, there's no other way to say it, but that they are worth your attention. That sounds like a really bad way to say it, but I don't know how to say it. That's what's coming out, okay? Um... Also, just continue to be, you know, emotionally fulfilled. Continue to live your life. You're, this is what you're moving towards, okay? You're moving towards the Four of Wands, which could be a twin flame, or it could just be, you know, you're walking into, you know, a higher level of commitment, or you're just, you're just walking through um, a portal, so to speak, okay? For me, the, the, the Four of Wands is a, is a portal, okay? You're on this side, you're walking towards that side, okay? Towards emotional fulfillment. And um, this is the divine inspiration. This is you. Listening to your guides to move you towards that. What else? Spirit and surprise, white light. I mean, really, this is you, right? Six of Wands. You might also be in the public eye. Somebody was maybe getting a little jealous or something like that. Uh, we have the Emperor here. You could also just be intimidating, too, I'm hearing just like very intimidating and they you know you didn't you didn't want to shrink yourself so good don't shrink yourself what else for your you stood in your power you stay in your power okay what else for your is there anything else yeah I feel like you've liberated yourself just remain emotionally grounded is the message that I'm receiving because I did, um, as I, as I pulled the King of Pentacles, okay, I do feel like you have some abundance coming in. So I feel like you just need to remain emotionally grounded because I was, I was hearing emotionally ungrounded and the King of Pentacles to me, I mean, this, this is somebody who's very grounded, very secure, somebody who is, you know, I feel like there was also somebody in your past who was like breadcrumbing you. And it's almost like somebody needs to get out of these, um, like bad habits because that's not your reality you know Th that was the reality that this you know this fucker was trying to like get you trapped into right but you're not and I, I feel like your guides were kind of like mm -mm, that's not happening no 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 we're gonna move you out of this situation um hmm. you know no more chaos, no more bullshit. You may have, like, had a child with this person, and then all of a sudden there was all this chaos. What else, Spirit? Let's pull some more cards. Anything else? Amethyst might be good for some of you. Um, you might even be starting... See, I feel like you... Whoever you are, you're a visionary, and you have, like, it's like, oh, man. I'm just hearing, like, just don't have any regrets. There is a lesson in everything, and there is a reason for everything that happens, okay? So, it's just, you know, just 
what it is. Move on. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up because for many reasons. Don't beat yourself up because it's not fair for you, okay? But also don't beat yourself up because that's keeping you in a lower frequency vibration that's going to, you know, put you in this timeline, you know, as opposed to, like, you know, this timeline, you know, where you're the boss, where you're successful, right? Where you're the fucking star, right? Somebody who's obsessed with your energy. Okay, what else, spirit? <laughs> I hope that helps. I'm sending you guys so much love. Stay strong. Stay well. Stay healthy. Drink water. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. And until next time, thanks for being here. Keep shining.